people that use it, like with any other thing. The time will come that they'll stop and will say, this does not give us fulfillment. Because our desire, the deficiency which we feel on the inside, the lack, we have to know, what am I living for? What's the meaning in life? What's happening beyond our life? Before we were born, after we die, is there something or isn't there? If we have a deficiency for it, there's an answer. There is an answer. Meaning we can attain it, we can discover it. And then, one way or another, they won't be able to smoke the cigarette or in any other way that they use it. They won't be able to do it. They'll have to discover the secret of life. Meaning, at some point, it will no longer give answer to those needs. Yes. It'll end suddenly, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I can't do it. That's it. I can a bit uh, in order to get rid of pressure, tension, but still. What am I then? Because there's nothing worse for a person than when he sees that he's redundant. The, the self in him, the human part, that it's useless. What I'm thinking is that throughout history, there were many methods that tried to take a person out of the wheel of human suffering. As a result, many methods and techniques and exercises were developed, both in meditation, and it came in order to give the same result, to make a person more calm, tranquil, in order for him to be able to cope with life in a better way. So my question is, besides these exercises and processes which are already known in our world, are there additional things, some other method which can help a person come out of the state he's currently in? In order to calm himself down, there are many techniques, coaching, and of course many teachers that make top dollars off it. It's good business. And people that are engaged in it and people that come in order to undergo these different exercises. Eventually a person has to calm himself down and to also get some kind of an answer about the meaning of life. That's it. And all this suits each and every nation according to certain periods. If we go to India, then we have yoga. Besides the exercises which are good and healthy, all the rest of its internality, it fits only Hindu people. It doesn't fit other people that some guru comes from India to Europe and he starts unraveling it. It doesn't suit Europeans or Confucius, all of his theories and philosophy. Besides the Chinese, who can use it and experience it and so on. Therefore, every nation has a method of its own as to how to calm itself down, how to give an answer for the essence of existence. What do we exist for altogether? And of course, it changes throughout our development. And therefore, I'm sure that this entire engagement in cannabis, like with all other things, It'll pass, and it will pass quickly. According to the pace of the development of this phenomena around the world, it will end very quickly for sure. Because, And we already know, this is how it is with everything. The more something bursts out and becomes popular, the quicker it ends.
And it's not because there is some process that happens on behalf of the person using it. But it's because inside us there is this special machine that is constantly increasing our ego and we won't be able to enjoy it. We won't be able to enjoy cannabis and the substitute for cannabis will be only spiritual development. Cannabis gives us tranquility. Spiritual development, it brings a person to a state where he is in revelation of the reason for his entire existence. 